I'm Wes Wilson. I'm a uh, freelance photographer here in Williamson, West Virginia. I uh, shoot for multiple papers down here, cover a lot of high school sports, and uh, cover just about anything that happens down here in Williamson. Uh, grew up down here and uh, still shoot uh, around, do a lot of high school sports coverage, and uh, really enjoy shooting. It's uh, one of my passions, and uh, getting to cover everything is just awesome. It's always a blast. This alley is actually one of my favorite spots to uh, shoot at for senior portraits when I do them. Uh, we do a lot of different effects, especially with some of these awesome pieces of concrete and steel beams, and, and we can do a lot of neat effects, and a lot of the people we shoot love uh, coming here. And it's got a different look and really, uh, really urban look that you can't really find a lot in Mingo County. It's kind of hard to find. Actually, going on this fall, I have a little bit of a uh, special offer. I, uh, I do about a three-hour, two, three-hour session. Uh, it's about 195 bucks, um, but as, that's usually. Uh, for seniors in this area that uh, have parents that have uh, been affected by these coal industry layoffs and uh, anything job losses like that, I'm doing senior portraits for free. Um, people can contact me on my Facebook page, Facebook messaging, email, and we're actually going to uh, hook up with them, go out for about two or three hours, and get these families uh, some memories that they you know, should be able to cherish in the future, something they can look back on. Because I, I look at senior portraits and stuff as something important. Uh, it's something you know, everybody should have an opportunity to have. You know, uh, when I was younger, I actually just uh, got you know, encouraged by a lot of friends and family to start shooting, uh, especially my family. After we'd gone on some vacations, you know, saw me start to shoot and uh, enjoyed what I'd shot. And uh, in my middle school years, a lot of friends would say, hey, come out to my game. I want pictures. My mom wants pictures. And so I'd, I'd be uh, you know, enthusiastic and go out and shoot those events. And, and my friends and family really encouraged me to, to shoot more and more and, and grow to you know, become what I am now, shooting uh, freelance. Good stuff, good stuff. Railroad Yard in Williamson is definitely a neat, uh, a neat place to shoot, especially at nighttime when these trains roll through. You can get some really neat uh, headlight shots and, and those coal cars. Oh man, it's, it's really cool. Really industrial looking. It's really, really neat. I, it's, it's a neat location. I, the neatest thing is to go up on some of these hills around Williamson and shoot down onto the tracks. Uh, you get some really, really cool stuff. Especially when they start rolling too, but it looks like this guy might move here in a second. You know, primarily what I enjoy is, uh, is sports, like a lot of sports stuff, uh, just because that's what I grew up around. But uh, around here, I love going up on some of these mountain peaks and shooting, uh, shooting some landscapes, uh, especially over West Wimps, and there's a few spots that are just, man, when these leaves start to change, it's awesome to go to. They're not easy to get to, but it's definitely worth the hike when you get up to some of these locations and, and are able to shoot them. I like staying here in Williamson. Uh, a lot of people, you know, high school students would love to get out of their communities, especially here in southern West Virginia. You know, they want to leave, uh, get on to bigger and better things in their opinion. But uh, here in Williamson, I've got a lot of bigger and better things. And, uh, you know, through friends, family, uh, my involvement with the newspapers and shooting freelance, uh, involvement with the high schools and all that, it's, uh, it's given me a lot of reasons to stay. You know, covering uh, Sheriff Crumb's uh, events down here in Williamson was definitely a, a hard experience. I was actually at lunch that day and got a call and said you need to get downtown and, and see what's going on and you know come down here at this very spot and uh, you know, see his crew sitting here where it happens. You know, it's an emotional experience and uh, definitely a test uh, of trying to be as professional as possible as a journalist, you know, trying to capture that event but at the same time, uh, you know, you know these people. It's, it's your community, it's, it's people you know personally and, and it was tough. Uh, for sure, and I had the privilege of you know, getting to cover the visitation and the funeral in the days to come. And you know, it's a lot of people were trying to get a hold of those photos that I'd captured, uh, and I didn't release them for you know privacy, the family, and some other things. And out you know out of respect of them, just because I know them, and you know it's it's a very emotional event. It's a private event for them, but uh, you know for historical purposes for Mingo County, I'm sure someday we'll look back on the pictures and the things, and, and you know they'll be invaluable. They'll they'll. Uh, It'll be really something special because this is an event we, you know, we will never forget down here in Williamson. Yeah.